So originally this video is going to be generally about Skeppy event winners, like Dazznerth, Intuit, Truzy, even though he didn't win, uh, Rundown, and I was going to focus mainly on Rundown. However, due to recent events, I'm going to focus only on Rundown and the drama that recently happened between him and Skeppy. Rundown HD, or Rundown, the Fortnite creator that's verified. We'll get into that. Now, the one thing I want to see before I start this video is that I will try to share as little opinion as possible and just tell you the facts of what's going on, but I might share some opinion, in which case, I'm sorry, please excuse it. It's I want to be as passive as possible in the subject, but we'll see how it goes. That being said, if you do enjoy this type of content, then I would really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a like. It would mean the world to me. I would really appreciate it, but thank you so much, and I do hope you enjoy. Also, a huge shout-out to my channel members. Thank you so much. I love you all. Let's start off with some background until we get into the main meat of the story. Skeppy has had a long history of trapping little children. The verb, that one goes out to you. I love Skeppy and have a great fun watching his videos, his personality is super entertaining, his concepts are super entertaining, I'm subscribed to like four of his channels, amazing person. When he first started trapping kids, I thought that was awesome. Wait, wait, no I didn't mean like that, I mean, I didn't mean like that, I mean, that. I didn't mean like that, nope, 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 nope. Back to the topic at hand, however, Scabby began to do this more and more often, until at one point, he made a video where he trapped a thousand kids, but the winner got, well, I mean a hundred kids, but the winner got one thousand dollars. Thus, sparking the beginning of his one thousand dollar challenges. If you want to learn more about the history of Scabby's events, I recommend checking out this video in the top right right now about a YouTuber named Xiphon. Xiphon makes great content, he's about to pass me in subs, and... Overall, great guy, I recommend you watch his videos. I'm also nearly positive he'll do a video about this subject as well, and his videos are better than mine. Heck, it could be out by the time I make this, but I'm by the time I export this one, so I recommend you check him out, good guy. Anyway, Skeppy's events went super well, and soon, one began to see the pattern of regulars that attended these events, one of them being Rundown HD. Now, Rundown HD was at first a meme, loved by bad, and eventually grew on Skeppy. Rundown was a good sport as well, never winning events, but usually placing high and getting attention from Bad and Skep. After the move on to PvP lands, Rundown HD started a YouTube channel. His videos instantly took off, and received a bunch of attention by many people, getting hundreds and even thousands of subs per day. He seemed like a pretty good guy, and still does if you watch his old videos. After picking up more speed, Rundown began streaming events, like Last Stop Running the Square. At this point, he had accumulated over 30,000 subscribers and was still growing super strong with constant attention to his videos. I was scared he was going to pass me. And this, this is where things get controversial. It was around this time, as far as I'm aware, it was brought to my attention and to many others that Rundown HD had a second channel, or main channel actually, Rundown. This Rundown channel boasts over 800,000 subscribers. However, that doesn't mean it has no flaws. Far from it. Rundown HD has a history of apparently scamming kids on his Rundown channel in Fortnite. Now, before I go into that, you may be asking how we know if that Rundown is the same as Rundown HD. The same name, Big Whoop. Well, if, the, if one compares their voices, it is painfully obvious. Post the face reveal live on my Twitter. That's it. That's final. No more. No more. No more arguing about it. It's final. It's already final, chat. Face cam. I said if we hit 15k likes, bro. I no. I said if we hit 15k likes in like 10 seconds, bro. But if you go into the thumbnail of one of his videos right here, you can see that his Discord is leaked. Indeed, Rundown HD. Same Discord. I actually didn't find this myself, so I have to credit Poland, who made a really good video about the Rundown's legacy of scamming kids. I recommend you check him out because his video is a bit less updated than mine, but it's still a super good video that pretty much tells you all you need to know. I'm going to be using a bit of clips from it, so thank you, Poland. You make great stuff. I hope everyone subscribes to you. Now, I don't know much about scamming kids in Fortnite, so you should watch Poland. And I'm going to talk about the recent Skeppy involvement instead. However, what I've gathered is that Rundown would do fake giveaways and set a timer for fake events to spark interest and donations. Keep that one in mind. To be fair to Rundown, he didn't make it easy to link this channel to his other. He did his best, I think, to detach himself from the Fortnite channel, going to lengths to ignore donations that ask about Fortnite. Man, boy, thank you for the ten dollars. Jeez, it, Zufi with the five. It means I prefer Skeppy over Mr. Beast. However, one cannot run down from his roots, and he pulled the same tricks that he did on his Fortnite livestream to Skeppy's own audience. 
Skeppy's audience loved Rundown, and even got more views than Bad Boy Halo on a stream at once, getting an average of 10,000 viewers compared to Bad's 8,000 or 9,000, which is super impressive for a YouTuber his size, that's a fourth of his viewers. The stream we are talking about in question right now is the waiting stream for Skeppy's supposed Mr. Beast collab. Now that video is already out, but it wasn't at the time of recording Rundown's stream, and this, this is where things get spicy. By the way, the stream is private, so I can't use many clips from it. In the stream, Rundown claimed that he got his information that Skeppy was about to collab with none other than Mr. Beast in only a bit of time. He got tipped off about this from Bad Boy Halo's tweet on screen right now. This tweet could indicate any stream, however, not just Mr. Beast's, which it did. It indicated Bad's 500k second celebratory stream. Congrats on 500, by the way. You deserve it. However, Rundown convinced his viewers that it would be the Mr. Beast stream. It was had to be the Mr. Beast stream, obviously. Why would Bad tweet about it? Why would he tweet about it? Well, Mr. Beast's stream never came. Rundown spent three hours streaming and waiting, always claiming there would be an event soon to try to maintain his hold on his audience. See any parallels from the Fortnite stream? The next way he scammed and manipulated his own fans was by adding a fake timer at the bottom left of the screen for a fake event that was not going to happen to get more views and donations from his own fans. While I could keep on going to how this is similar to what he was doing on Skeppy's server with the Mr. Beast event and how it never actually happened, a lot of people actually did think it was going to happen and I'll let it go as an honest mistake or a misunderstanding. <laughs> live stream ethan with the five dollar donation he said i am hyped for the event ethan my guy i am so hyped we're two minutes away from possibly seeing the L what faking events or in this case not being certain and claiming about the events additionally rundown stated that he would reveal his face which by the way is apparently this on his twitter if he hit 5k likes if we get to 5,000 likes i'll do face cam if we get to 5,000 likes i'll do face cam oh my god 5k likes later no face. Then he went on to say that if he got 15k likes, he would show his face on Twitter. 15,000 likes, and no joke, I will post the face reveal live on my Twitter. That's it. That's final. No more, no more, no more arguing about it. It's final. It 15k likes later, nothing again. This is where Skeppy gets involved in the whole thing, and it peaks. Up to this point, Scuppy had only said one negative thing about Rundown. On his face channel, Scuppy's lab, he said this. Rundown really got subs off the events. That's pretty cool. The only thing that I found a little bit annoying is that he, like, made his own server with events competing. So that's not really fun for me to try and have competition, but I think that's cool that he grew off of it. However, no, this time, it was different. Well, the original tweet that sparked this was taken down by Rundown, Rundown's post evoked this response from Scuppy. I don't appreciate what you're doing. I don't care if people use my name for views, but you've gained an audience off of my subscribers and then lied to my audience over and over yesterday and multiple other times as well. Not cool. I think that Skeppy is referring to the lies that Rundown told about knowing when the event would start and what it would be. Obviously, he didn't. Also, maybe Skeppy's talking about the face reveal thing, but I feel like that's less important. Rundown responds with his excuse, and Skeppy goes on to talk about how he's a decent person that made various mistakes while Rundown has a prominent history of scamming children. Rundown then goes on to talk about how we shouldn't be this how we shouldn't do this in public because Skeppy has so much influence, which I think is a fair point actually. In his defense, I think having a private debate is probably better, and it probably happened off Twitter. However, at the time of recording, that has been all that has happened so far. There might be more stuff that comes out, which I'm sure Xiphon will cover or somebody will cover because this stuff does get covered a lot. And Rundown is still losing tons of subs by the hundreds and decided to leave his HD channel. So actually at the time of recording, Rundown took down all of his videos. I don't know if he private them or deleted them. Either way, I kind of expected this to happen, so I actually recorded the apology video. I'm not going to play too much. I don't want to invade on his privacy, but... Uh, I'll just show you guys what I think is important from the apology video and the by the bye bye video. It's like 55 seconds. So I've decided to make the decision to leave this channel. The main goal of this channel was to entertain you guys, but everyone hates me, and I get it. I, I know I've made a lot of mistakes on YouTube in the past, and obviously I'm not doing things right. I just wanted to tell the truth and be honest with you guys, but. I'd like to thank you guys, but I really don't feel like anyone cares at this point. I don't want you guys to feel bad for me, to be honest. I'm probably doing Skeppy a favor, but 
Thanks for watching guys. I'm probably going to be stopping videos on this channel. You get the gist. It's not, it's not even that long. Now I think this was... Well, I don't I don't want to be mean to him. It's obviously it's obviously terrible to be called out. Even if you did do something wrong, it's terrible to be called out by someone you probably like, like Skeppy. But it sucks. But what you can see he's doing, and it's working in the comments. He is, in some sense of it, trying to get pity from his audience. I, I mean that in the nicest way possible. I don't think he deserves to feel depressed like he comes across but it's definitely looking like he tries to get some pee out of it now he's in a terrible situation yeah he it doesn't matter if he brought it upon himself or not it sucks but he is succeeding and he's definitely trying to make people feel bad you can see in the comments that are deleted now but you can see in the comments that i scrolled for a bit people do feel bad i i feel bad too he he guilt tripped me into feeling bad but does it mean he did something wrong yeah does he mean he deserved it Kind of, but he, this, it's a pity. He, pity. I, I don't want to sound mean. He doesn't doesn't deserve to feel depressed. He doesn't deserve hate forever. He doesn't have to stop uploading. But I feel like if he would have addressed the problem at hand, it might have gone better instead of just denying he ever had a Fortnite channel to begin with. And then maybe maybe it wouldn't be in this scenario. I know it's hard owning up to something you've done wrong, but. What he's doing right now, I mean, the cynical side of me just wants to say, ah, he just hopes everyone is like, eh, it's okay, run down, run down, support. It's okay, you can keep uploading, we love you, it's fine, you messed up, it's okay, you're a different person now, we love you. Of course, that's a cynical part of me, but it's still a part of me. I, I believe he legitimately wants to reform and feels bad, that's why he detached himself. But maybe if he addressed it, maybe if he even let us know, if he apologized outright, maybe it might have gone differently, but who knows, uh, he, he didn't, and I guess that's, what we're, that's where we are now. Will he return? Maybe, but he already won 1k from Skeppy, a bunch of stuff from Ad Revenue, and YouTube Rank. So props to him on that. The next video will be Skeppy fan accounts and event winners. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all later, and peace out. Please let me know if I said anything wrong. I would really love to know.